So I'm looking at a smarter way of measuring my temps and humidity in my incubator and particularly in my egg box. I'm finding that different gauges I'm using are all giving me different readings, um, different from my infrared gun and they're different between each other. So there's no way of calibrating these um, and some are quite way off actually. Equally in my vivariums, you know, having to position uh, the thermostats um, so I can read them easily and position the wires. The same issue with uh, the racking systems because um, I put the probe for the f f uh, temperature on the heat mat and not actually in the tub because I don't want wires going everywhere. So it's a good solution for that. So I have chosen to test out two smart thermo hydrometers from Govi and Inkbird. So stay tuned and see what I think is the smarter choice. Okay, so first up is the Inkbird temperature and humidity smart sensors. Now I've got the temperature one and the temperature and humidity one to compare. Uh, boxing's pretty nice. It comes with the simple instructions, a warranty card, and as you can see, a screwdriver. Now that can only mean one thing, and that means you need a screwdriver or tool set to get some batteries in which it doesn't come with. So you need two AAA batteries, which is, um, I think, a bit annoying, really. The next step is to put the application on your smartphone. And this is really straightforward to do. You can use the manual and go to the App Store, or you can use your smartphone to go over the QR code, because this is uh, a sort of more modern approach these days. Um, and that would take you to the App Store and you can install the Inkbird app. In this case, I've already done that. So um, it's not going to ask me to install. It would just say that I've already got it installed and select open. So once you're in the application, you can read what the temperature is and the humidity level is. And in the case of the uh, just the temperature version, obviously it doesn't show humidity. Um, very easy to change between Fahrenheit and centigrade by pressing the settings button. And you can also change the name very easily. Very useful if you've got quite a few of these. It is from here where you can change the calibration, which I'll come to a bit later on. But at the bottom you can see uh, that you can set temperature ranges and humidity ranges and use the radio button sliding button to um, decide on whether you want to be alerted by email if they uh, go outside of those ranges so quite you know pretty handy so just a reminder that if you select the little settings cog at the top left you can switch between centigrade and Fahrenheit really easily and that's a great sort of thing to have because not every digital thermometer has that option. So very quickly I thought I'd tell you how I calibrated the Inkbird um, sensor for the humidity. Um, so what you needed is a sealable bag, a little cap, some salt which you fill the uh, cap with. This is, can be um, any type of salt, uh, a small amount of water and then you just drop the water onto the salt just covering it over, you don't want this sloshy um, 
very scientific, all of this sort of stuff. I then put them all into the bag. Um, I've included my old hydrometer in here as well and make sure that the bag is sealed. Then place the bag somewhere where it won't get disturbed. In my case, I'm putting it in my incubator. What you're looking for is to leave this for 8 to 12 hours to get a exact 75% humidity. The final step is just to go back into the app, go to the calibration settings and make those minor adjustments, plus or minus, and then you'll be have full confidence that the humidity readings that you've got are spot on. So next up is the Govi Smart Thermo Hydrometer, which I got from Amazon.com. Slightly cheaper than the Inkbird, um, even though it was coming all the way from the US. And um, there's a notable absence of a screwdriver, which is a good sign. The uh, box contains a user manual and a strap, and uh, it's a bit smaller than the ink bird. This, this is it compared. It's quite a cute little uh, um, sensor. Um, this is it with a 50p coin, but um, just to compare against the ink bird, it is um, slightly smaller. Uh, the little blue tab is um, covering over the little button batteries that it's got that come included, which is great. For some reason I couldn't get the QR code to work, so um, I've just followed the instructions, gone to the App Store, downloaded the Govi app, um, said no to the notifications I think, and then it's got some funky screens which you just uh, follow free. And um, Govi do uh, other devices, other smart devices, so lights and um, plugs and so forth. So once you uh, get into the app, you have to go down and select the smart device that you've got, which we can find under Home Improvements. So we're looking for the smart thermo hydrometer, which we just select. And we don't need to log in. So connect without logging in and accept the Bluetooth and you can connect with the device and you can change the name of the device at this stage or we can do it a bit later on. The device is really easy to use, very much like the Inkbird and um, though there are some slightly nicer features on the Govi. So on the main screen we can change the name. I'll call this one incubator test. And you can change the temperature alarm and the relative humidity alarm. The one thing I like about this is you don't just have to use these dials like you do on the Inkbird. You can fine tune it a little bit by using the buttons beneath. We can also do exactly the same for the relative humidity and set the alert um, for when we want that to come on, the range that we want that to come on for, and also the calibration settings are just below here. Um, it's worth noting that I use a infrared um, gun to do a reminder for the temperature to get that spot on. So I've got two sensors running with the Govi on the app there and two on the Inkbird. Both applications look quite similar. Um, this is the Inkbird and um, yeah, I've got that running in the incubator and in one of the vivariums and you see it's performing quite well, giving me good, good information um, to my hand. Um, there isn't a lot to, between the two of them. I think um, if anything it's the, for me it's the Govi that takes it because you can fine tune those little settings rather than using this dial that you have to use which is quite fiddly on the Inkbird. Both uh, applications allow you to look at data either the week, hour, month or the year um, which can be useful because I've noticed quite a few spikes um, when the central heating comes on on the house etc. Um, the other thing Govi has is a, a slightly different viewpoint 
Um, I've no idea about the girl power advert, by the way. Um, but yeah, you can see it. You can just display if you've got uh, multiple um, sensors. This is probably a better way of looking at it. So what's my verdict? I think uh, I like them both and I will be using them both. I think Inkbird lets itself down because of the battery situation that you have to buy batteries separately. But um, I'm making good use of it in a, uh, in a rub, as you can see here. Um, but um, I would say that I prefer the Govi. Um, it's slightly cheaper. Uh, it's quite compact. The app itself um, is just a little bit user friendly though they're very very similar. Just little things like the uh, setting the range um, with the buttons rather than having to use the dials. They're all just you know minor things but um, yeah the Govi gets my thumbs up but they are both excellent products and I highly recommend.